member of uh, Legislative Assembly Government of Karnataka, former Minister of uh, Agriculture, Sri Krishna Bharavadaji, Deputy Director General, Crop Science, respected Dr. Uh, Tilakraj Sharmaji, and my colleague and friend Dr. Vilas Dhanpiji, and the senior Neeraj Kumar Varmaji, Chief General Manager Abad, and my colleagues on the dais, Dr. Shedakshri, Dr. Prakash, uh, Dr. Vintesh, uh, Dr. Nagaraj, and also we have with us uh, Deepak and uh, the one more representative from the government of uh, India, and also I think he is our alumni, Sri Somnath Exhibiti, and all my officers who are sitting in the front, and also the back, and my students, delegates, and uh, the respected delegates, both online and offline. Once again, good evening to all of you. First of all, I would like to congratulate the organizers and also the people who have participated and given a lot of inputs in this uh, international conference on uh, organizing the potential of Indian Malay for achieving food and nutritional security, both challenges as well as the prospectors. Friends, this program was you know, initiated in view of the announcement of the International Year for the Millets 2023. That is one point. The second point is we would like to recognize the place and the persons who are really contributed for the growth and development of the ragi crop, which is the most stable and uh, very familiar with the used by the our southern Karnataka people. So if you look at the progress, what we have made during these four, four days, I think for the director of research clearly mentioned what are the <coughs> celebrations and the outcomes. So I would like to mention, I'm not going to repeat the same thing, but I assure all our, uh, the presenters, the policy makers and other things, just we are going to make a proceedings as suggested by ADG Crop Science Dr. T. R. Sharmaji. And it will be given to the respective stakeholders, maybe policy makers, but researchers, but industries, maybe a few, maybe farmers, for the follow-up action. So that whatever the objective we have set for this, you know, international seminar is going to be achieved in the future days. Friends, Today, in this uh, final day, while our honorable uh, former minister and also the member of the legislative assembly, when he was uh, you know, giving his uh, speech about on this occasion, he has mentioned a lot of points. And first of all, I would like to congratulate him and thank him because of intervention when he was uh, Minister of Agriculture, I think probably he is also the part of, you know, to declare the International Year of uh, the 2023 that was the master mind behind our Honorable Sri Krishna Varayaparaji. So on behalf of all of you, I would like to congratulate him and to thank him. Sri Varayaparaji is mentioning about the, some of the aspects he mentioned the crop of the ragi is coming down and the reason behind maybe the yield potentiality of the ragi is not matching with the other crops where they are getting from. So that is switching over with a yes, example of maize. Yes, even in the today morning presentation, one Dr. T. N. Mankaji has mentioned what is the area come down? Around 26% of the ragi areas come down, which is occupied by the maize. So this is the real situation. So now it is a challenge for all of us. How to maintain or increase the area under the millets? Whether we go for the high yielding varieties or any other new technologies. And he also made a mention about the latest advanced tools, that is the genomics 
studies, lot of things are there. So we are going to make use of this and we have to see that our real potential has, has to be increased. So in the university and the ICMR Hyderabad and the ICR level, lot of efforts are being done in these directions and lot of research programs have been checked out and we are working in this direction, sir. The another thing which he has mentioned, this is the platform where we can take Raji not only at the state level, even at the global level. This is the best platform where we can go aggressively, see that we should find a place in the, at the national and international level. Yes, we have also, as you already given a lot of uh, the foundations in this regard, especially during in your tenure, we organized uh, the international seminars on millets, even on the organic farming, and you have also conducted a lot of uh, the involving the five-star hotels, and we are also thinking of making a lot of recipe involving the, you know, the millets, especially ragi and other things. So in these directions, we also chant out for this program, that is for the international year for the 2023 in collaboration with the ICMR Hyderabad. We have chart out series of programs, every month one or the other two programs will be there. It is focusing on the promotional as well as, you know, address, reaching the global level, our products. This is one thing which I would like to mention, sir. <coughs> then, the other point which you have mentioned on the millet crops for the future, as, as far as the health issues are concerned, yes, we are also working along with the medical colleges, medical institutions, uh, with the, the, our projects. Two, three programs are that, especially with the, the medical colleges. And we are also working on the bioavailability, all the traditional benefits, what we are going to get from this. I think the talk may inspire us to scale up this kind of activities. Again, while uh, Dr. Sharmaji was mentioning and recalling the contributions made by our Ragi Brahma, Dr. Lakshmanaya, Sir so, Chu, sir, this is the place that is VC Forum way back in 1983. The, so, 1980, our Coleman, Dr. Coleman, has started the crop improvement program in this place on Ragi. That was the first phase of development of the Ragi, and the Ragi was developed in the five stages, where during the era of 1960s, our Dr. Lakshmanaya has made a lot of process and he has changed the scenario of, you know, end of uh, series varieties of it. Later, they were created. Still, with the support of ICR, with the support of the state government, we are doing a lot of efforts to give the varieties which are suitable for the market, which is suitable for the industry. Industry means that is maybe the bakery industry, food industries. So now, we, our focus, it is not only on the increasing the in potentiality, but we are focusing on so on the industry driven, market driven, you know, the activities which we are focusing. And probably the other way, we have to focus more on the secondary agriculture also, especially on the value-added products, post harvest technology. Yes, we are also focusing, especially taking the some of the institutions who are already in the front line and joining the hands with them. Not only in the institutions, even the private organizations we are promoting in these directions.